What's going on guys, Shadowanja here, and today we are going to be showcasing you an MTZ556 build for you guys to utilize because this weapon, this build, is absolutely incredible. Now before we jump into the build, let's talk about the MTZ556. When compared to the king of the assault rifles so far from what we can tell, the Holger 556, which we made a video on annotation here on screen, this weapon is not the Holger. It doesn't have the same time to kill numbers. It isn't the best in that category, but what it is really good at is being an incredibly user friendly weapon to mess around with. And honestly do very good things in pub lobbies, especially in a non-competitive situation. Now, one unfortunate thing is that skill-based matchmaking is really a thing. So a lobby of Holgers may get the upper advantage on you ever so slightly, but if you are great with your placement, you're great with your aiming, you can utilize this build and this weapon in ways you just like didn't think you could. So let's jump into the build and showcase everything going on. It is slightly different or at least for the most part different. We'll get into some details with what's going on here. Now, here we are in the game. I really want to showcase the stats and stuff like that so we get a good understanding of what's going on. So for the stock, we're rocking the MTZ Marauder stock. Now, the main thing here is that we are going for recoil gun kick control horizontal recoil control and vertical recoil control as you see here with the percentages the recoil gun kick control is at a negative 21.3 percent and when it comes to some of the knocks it does to handling and to mobility as you see with those percentages not that much penalty is there now for the assault grip the bruin 20 tr24 assault grip we have a Recoil gun kick control of negative 10% and horizontal and vertical at negative seven. Again, very slight stuff. And when it comes to some of the drawbacks to this, there aren't really any at all except aiming idle sway. Now we are rocking the 556 five, overpressured P ammunition. The goal here is to add more target flinch. And as you see here, the target flinch that we are inflicting is plus 80%. This can be annoying and give you some advantages when you're dealing with other weapons like the Holger 556 or anything that may class a little bit higher than the MTZ in the meta. Now the Socken Thread 40 is still my favorite muzzle for recoil stabilization and recoil control. And honestly, it doesn't hurt your handling and stability that much. So yes, ADS speed is the biggest knock here with a plus 18.2%. When we look at the recoil gun kick control and the vertical and horizontal recoil control benefits, yeah, that's a trade-off I will take. When the vertical recoil is affected by a negative 22.7% and a horizontal recoil is by negative 13% and gun kick control 17.6%, those are some juicy numbers I can get behind. And last but not least, when it comes to the barrel with the MTZ Drifter Heavy Long Barrel, we are increasing our effective range and minimum range by 28% and bullet velocity by 14.7%. Now, when it comes to handling and the trade-offs there, you aren't affecting your ADS time here, but you are affecting your sprint to fire speed. So if you guys are rocking tactical sprint all the time, like myself, do keep this in mind. It will affect some of that stuff as well as sprint speed, tactical sprint speed and things like that. But again, nothing too drastic on the mobility side, a little bit more on the handling and the recoil control benefits there are very subtle. But again, we're here for a lot of the range benefits that is getting added here and it's fun. It's great. And I love that Sledgehammer added this stat tool so I can communicate these attachments to you guys. Now, let's go back in the game, give you my closing thoughts and some important details when it comes to this weapon. So, like I said before, and I will say this again, the MTZ 556 is not better than the Holger, but with some of the stuff you've seen in this build and how we're rocking and going for, yeah, we can do some phenomenal stuff and it is awesome to mess around with different guns i'm actually pretty excited and pretty glad to talk about a lot of different assault rifles in this game not every single one is going to be incredible but for the most part every single assault rifle i've used so far has been viable in its own way and that is super refreshing to see especially with one of my fears about a higher time to kill stagnating the sandbox into specific guns and while the time to kill isn't as high as trailer games it is on the upper side of things so it's rewarding when it comes to gunplay but also it's reassuring knowing that there are great assault rifles out there and the mtz 556 is one of them but i'm curious i want to hear your guys thoughts on the mtz 556 is this an assault rifle you guys enjoy is it an assault rifle you guys do not like at all now when it comes to other content around these weapons or weapons expect tons of them in the coming days probably going to 
put up a little bit of a ranking video near the beginning of season one. This is all pre-season one stuff. So there's a lot of tweaks, a lot of tunings that will obviously come with the life cycle of Modern Warfare 3 leading into the integration of Warzone 2, which is exciting. So if you guys are new here and not yet subscribed to the channel, definitely be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay notified and up to date with all the content here on the channel. But if you guys also enjoyed, be sure to drop this video a like, helps out the video a ton, but I hope you guys have a good one. It's all I have for this one. Shannon G here, and I'm out.